Girl, it's easy to love me now. Would you love me if I was down and out? Would you still have love for me, girl? Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Alex and welcome back to the I Rate Alex channel. And today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at my hair because I've decided to wax it because my female demographic has shot through the freaking roof recently. You ladies are making me feel like a 17 year old trying to get into bars and nightclubs again, honestly. I'm going to wash this off in a second because I feel ridiculous. But of course, welcome to all of the brand new subscribers. Thank you very much for coming along to the channel and checking it out. Welcome to the box of Angry Broken Toys, otherwise known as the Irate Alex channel. Now, I've only been gone a couple of days, ladies and gents, and what in the same heck did you lot do? What did you do? I go away, back to work for a couple of days. People are messaging me whilst I'm at work to tell me that Chantel Marie is causing all kinds of drama. Meanwhile, she's got this really, really angry kind of racist i don't know what it is attached to a lead or something that keeps nipping at the heels of life of a free spirit and a few other people not to mention the false flagging that's going on right now what's been going on well luckily thanks to some of you wonderful people out there and of course some of the content creators who will be getting a mensch very shortly the timeline has been collated and that means we get to take a gander at what's been going on also i believe i promised you guys a diss track on foodie booty that would involve lord bear so you have that to look forward to in this video too now whilst i have been away i believe foodie booty uploaded something of a uh <sighs> occult talk story time true crime kind of video involving lots and lots of cheese of course it involves lots of cheese and then that's when the craziness started so before i begin i would like to take a moment to thank youtubers like abby b aphrodite's peach and of course michael b petty for collating all the information involved and obviously youtuber and uh, fangirl of Lord Bear, Life of a Free Spirit. Here's the timeline. Having spent some time to do what research I was able to, plus watching some of the madness during the quiet hours at work, it would seem Chantel has been a rather naughty girl indeed. Coupled with this short-lived romance between Foodie Booty and Shani, the very badly informed, angry at all the brown people, poor excuse of an adult, well, it was interesting, certainly, to partly spectate and partly interact. Romance, cis-mans, fat-mans, turkeys of a feather, gobble, gobble, gobble. Shani with a CH, I think. Foodie Stanny, flobby victim. I don't know, let's get on with it. Okay, so the madness started with this video from Foodie Booty a cheese and wine mukbang video in which Chantel talks about the cult known as Heaven's Gate. Heaven's Gate were a UFO sci-fi based religious group based out of San Diego in the 70s. 39 of its members carried out a mass suicide involving poisoned pudding and wrapped plastic bags around their heads. Grim stuff. I might cover it in a video at some point. I think it's quite interesting. The cheese board in Chantal's video was supposed to represent a little graveyard. Cute, yet delicious. Chantal is shown to be lacking information and knowledge of Heaven's Gate whilst shoveling food into her face. She then plays a news clip that reported on Heaven's Gate mass suicide, which includes imagery of the covered up bodies of its members laid out in bunk beds after they passed away. Immediately panning back to the pink hair donning tone deaf muck banger, who is covered in crumbs and complimenting the food. One of her stands then makes a joke in the comments with Chantal pinning it, hearting and responding, <laughs> good one. Now, in my opinion, Chantel made several catastrophic mistakes here. 
She didn't have the horrifying events of Heaven's Gate as the main subject of the video. It was as if, nom nom nom, cheese, ooh, cheese, nom nom nom, dead people, nom 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 nom, cheese, 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 oh look, I've got crumbs all over me now, nom 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 nom. She probably shouldn't have named the Frankenstein figurine she has there, Marshall naming it after one of the Heaven's Gate's leaders. And the video could have done without her eating in the first place, while showing the news clip which showcased several bodies covered up, whilst immediately before and after consuming cheese in the same manner that a whale consumes krill. The original pinned comment read as follows, Maybe that's why they wore the same shoes. Nike, just do it! with foodie booty hearting and laughing at the joke. I mean, it's not a very funny joke. It's, in fact, it's not funny at all, in my opinion. But it is a joke. I don't get squeamish over jokes, even in bad taste. Should have just owned this one, to be honest. Well, anyway, as you can imagine, a few reaction response videos were produced to counter Foodie Booty's ill-informed and disrespective narrative, and one of those videos was produced by Life of a Free Spirit titled, Chantel, Please Explain. Callie, or Life of a Free Spirit, called Chantel out for her tone-deaf behavior, which resulted in a spot of backlash directly aimed at Foodie Booty. Now guys, we've reached the point of the video where I go through a whole butt-ton of screenshots outlining the timeline. All of these screenshots were borrowed from Aphrodite's Peach's timeline video. Guys, do go subscribe to her. And guys, as well, she also did give me permission to do this as well on Twitter. Now, I will be responding and reacting very differently to her as we have marginally different opinions and approaches to these kind of things. I will be providing commentary as we proceed. Make sure you go and subscribe to Aphrodite's Peach as well. All screenshots and information from other YouTubers will be linked in the description. Okay, so after the immediate backlash, Foodie Beauty took to her favorite place on YouTube, her community tab. It's a place where she likes to post really, really angry things that she comes to realize later that the community or the greater community will come along and take screenshots of and put it in their videos. It's almost as if she's doing it on purpose at this point because she knows that we will come along and take a screenshot and then throw it in a video. I don't know why she gets so mad. I, honestly, she's, she's, she's insane. She's freaking insane. So first it was that I was making fun and disrespecting an inpatient at the psychiatric facility. Now the story is that I am disgusting for disrespecting the Heaven's Gate victims because I was eating cheese. The news showed the bodies in my clip in my video. It is something that happened over 10 years ago. There are other mukbangers who talk about true crime, etc., trying to push the blame onto other people. Other channels like to create false outrage towards my channel, no matter what I do. Well, no, not really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm sure there are a few out there, but uh, they're providing you with criticism, criticism that you always refuse to take and that's okay if you want to refuse to take it but it's often your reaction to said criticism that causes more and more response videos to be produced about you which i'm surprised you haven't learned yet i mean your reactions in the community tab alone are very much video worthy you know and then of course you go out and you you go run false flagging people as well have fun talking to yourselves from now on i'm not even going to respond to these accusations if i'm so offensive and such a bad person then unsub and don't watch my channel plain and simple don't get me wrong chantel that's usually my response when somebody starts gobbing off in my comments section but at the end of the day you have an entire community of people who go out of their way to criticize you and enjoy criticizing you. I don't think that they are going to unsubscribe if they are already subscribed, that is. I mean, some people subscribe uh, just to keep an eye on you, I guess. It's all well and good you sitting there saying that. Well, just unsub from me. Well, I don't think that's going to work. And then she goes on to edit the comment saying YouTube had originally demonetized my video and then reviewed it and remonetized it so they obviously don't even have a problem with it. Oh, Chantel, when you think that the monetization review system 
is somehow a kind of moral ground to stand on, that's when... <sighs> That's when I have to break out in complete laughter and just and just mock you, really, because you're a YouTuber, you know how that system works. Sometimes you can have really offensive videos monetized. Other times you can have really benign and arbitrary videos demonetized. It's happened to me plenty of times. I mean, if you look, for example, my video talking about Candy, aka Hungry Fat Chick, my most recent one, that was refused monetization. That has a yellow symbol on it. Whereas other videos where I'm far more offensive and I'm playing as Lord Bear have green symbols on them. So, you know, you, you, you can't use the YouTube's monetization review board as some kind of moral baseline. That's ridiculous. Chantel then decided to keep doubling down by saying, oh look, a popular mukbanger talking about a serial killer including the victims and slurping down noodles. Gonna attack her too? The amount of comments I have had to delete from people leaving threatening comments over my video is ridiculous and is harassment at this point. I will be following up with YouTube about this. It is not fair use to use my videos or bully or create drama and hate against me. Again, if my channel offends you, go away. I will be going after the channels that cause this insanity to go on. Enough is enough, I will not take my video down. I have a clip of a reaction channel urging her viewers to report my video, but when I do it, I'm the bad guy. GTFO, you will not be getting any of my attention and any of my material you use to fabricate lies and hate against me will be reported and claimed. Oh lordy lordy lord, there's a lot to unpack here, isn't there ladies and gents? <laughs> She's so angry! Calm down Chantel, calm down. First and foremost, although I do doubt it, if anybody does go over and threaten or harass anybody that I talk about, then I disown you. I, I, I don't condone hate. I don't condone that kind of dogpiling behavior. Don't do it, please, folks. I don't appreciate it. There's just no need for it. If what Chantel is saying is uh, true, then, then I don't condone your actions. It's, it's quite simple. She then mentions fair use. Um, Chantel, I don't think you quite understand what fair use actually is. You know, fair use does cover criticism, parody, satire. I can use your entire video from start to finish if I want to, provided that I transform it enough and can prove that I have made it as such. As long as I have provided substantial criticism to you that can actually be used by you in some form that has, you know, some level of constructive narrative or it was a parody or satire, it doesn't matter. I think that you need to go back to YouTube's copyright school because I don't think you actually understand what it means. I also don't think you know what the word bully means, considering that you go around false flagging people and giving other people just as much crap as they give you on the comment sections. You, you, you're not known for being a nice person. There is a reason why so many people make videos about you and why there are so many people watching and commenting on said videos. And as for taking your video down, I don't want you to take your video down. I want you to leave it up. And this is when the fabled and famous Shani appeared, who decided to leave a comment on her community post saying, Want me to help? I've been dying to knock life of a free spirit off of her pedestal. She looks at the smallest things and attacks you, and to be frank, I feel she's more cruel to you than Amber. I mean, these chicks are fat and telling, and it just goes on to say something else, and then Foodie a Booty there agreeing with her. Life of a free spirit comes in, throwing some shade right back at her. Chantal, you don't scare me. Imagine being this deflective, can't relate. Also, we all saw your deleted community tab post. See, again, Chantal, you really need to take this into, into consideration, darling. <laughs> it was at that point, Shani, Shani loves cry, Shani loves games, decided to go on a uploading rampage. And I think this lasted for roughly three days in the end, didn't it? Just video after video after video, and quite a few live streams as well, might I add, on a massive rampage, just screeching and saying some pretty questionable things about Callie and about Charlie Gold and the greater community at large. She comes across very, very unhinged. Now, listen, guys, she is somebody who has 
you know, stated on her channel that she suffers from borderline personality disorder. Now, personally, I don't think this is BPD. However, I am not now, nor have I ever been a therapist or anybody capable of diagnosing somebody with a mental health disorder. So I cannot actually make that argument here. That said, just because you have borderline personality disorder doesn't mean you are a completely unhinged lunatic who can't help themselves through various forms of therapies and medications. Foodie Booty then jumps back on the community tab being all positive with uh, Shani replying there saying, yay, go focus on you. I think I'm going to get them off your back. Love you, girl. And then she, Foodie Booty there is quite happy for her to just carry on, presuming that she's seen her content. It was at this point the community must have accused Foodie Booty of condoning this kind of behavior because here she is trying to uh, save face by saying, I just want to say that no matter what happens, I don't condone my viewers or supporters defending me by attacking others. I most certainly do not condone racism, homophobic comments, or other hateful insults towards anyone, no matter what they say about me. Just wanted to make that clear. I know I have said some things before out of anger that I am not proud of, but I do not support this and I'm trying to not let anger get the best of me. Thanks guys. I can't get mad at this particular comment. That's fair play, I guess. Uh, it, d it does feel like damage control considering what was going on at the time but i can't argue with this statement and i do have to give chantelle you know credit where credit is due she, she called it out she called it out but what was odd was this now behind that black blur is actually shani saying if i offended you i apologize but when you have hundreds of people calling you white b i assume that's what she meant white demon white uh, equinsawacha uh, white and what do you do i didn't expect telling them to stop they would have a legion of psycho women cracked out on hate and of course foodie booty there not really getting it saying i agree it's not right you did not offend me well you didn't go and have a look at her content in the end then did you it's kind of odd that you would make that damage control post and then post that reply to to shani very strange but we will get back to shani guys we will get back there foodie booty back on the community posts the title of this video is plus size slash tent size haul that condescending nauseating sneer is in every thumbnail too tent size is not fat shaming coming from another obese person who is supposedly a weight loss inspiration who uses their platform as a means to criticize other overweight people i will be reporting your videos for bullying because your videos do nothing but promote hate. Really, foodie booty, really? And fat stigma, oh my God. Against the content creators you leech off of. <laughs> I find it really amusing when a content creator will call a reaction channel or does somebody who makes response videos a leech when all you do in your videos, foodie booty, is eat food on camera. I'm just saying. This is against YouTube fair use policy. No, it's not. Have a nice day, hypocrite. She's not a hypocrite. P.S. Close your mouth. You're going to catch flies. Oh, Chantel throwing the shade there. And continuing with the shade throwing at Charlie Gold saying, Charlie, you are obese. Stop fat shaming others. Look at her face. How you people, what do you mean you people? Support this is beyond me. And one of her videos was titled how to make 15,000 a month and accomplish nothing. And what do you accomplish? You say she accomplishes nothing, yet without that nothing content, you wouldn't have any either. FFS. And stop with the comments, Charlie is working hard to lose weight. Good for her. That's not the issue. Who gives AF? She could win the award for biggest loser of the year and gain a six pack of abs, and that still doesn't give her the right to do what she is doing. Also, she is still obese herself, which makes her a hypocrite. Chantel, my dear. Charlie Gold, and quite frankly, everybody else on the platform, has the absolute right to make videos criticizing another person, another public figure. You are a public figure. You have a fair amount of subscribers, well over 50,000, with quite a few views. You sit down and you eat food for a living on video. There's no kind of editing other than a couple of jump cuts here and there so almost no efforts you tell some pretty bad stories and when you do decide to talk about anything of substance you don't do the research so you are quite literally 
being paid 15,000 a year to do what? Gain weight and slowly kill yourself by becoming more and more overweight. Hmm. All these people are trying to do, Chantel, and I really wish that these channels would, would realize this. All these people are trying to do is encourage you to not only be a better person, but to lose weight so that you won't reach an early grave. I can't even fathom the, the, the victimhood level here. Come on, Chantel, come on. And we're back to Shani here, who's left another reply to one of Foodie Beauty's community posts saying, Chantel, if I offended you in any way, I'm sorry. I had hundreds of people tell me racial slurs and then call you racial slurs and then claim I'm being racist by calling it out. Yeah, but yeah, even though that's not the case, we know people weren't calling you that. Um, it's the way that you responded, Shani. But we'll get there. We'll get there. Screw that S. But if you want me to stop, I will. Because I respect you, not these psycho women. I didn't see you say anything racist personally, but the race card gets played often when it shouldn't. You won't win with these people. I don't condone racism, etc. But it goes both ways. And if they were calling you a white bitch, that is racism also. Of course it's racism if people are, you know, having a go at you for your race and, and judging you for your race, absolutely. But I don't believe anybody actually was. <laughs> I don't believe anybody was. And uh, it's kind of odd how Chantel never bothered to actually go look at Shani's channel or her fellow's channel, which is rather telling if I'm honest. Life of a free spirit, continuing with the shade throwing, saying, Sis, not with that look. I'm tired of you homely bitches trying to expose me when y'all look worse than the shit I took this morning. Such language. Callie, come on. If you're going to come for me, at least look presentable. I think she may be referring to Shani there. Uh, and then, of course, Foodie Booty saying, Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Who's the bully, though? <laughs> what is with this victimhood narrative? All these people are trying to do is trying to kick you up the backside so that you don't die a slow, painful death that obesity walks hand in hand with. Or should it waddles hand in hand with? I, I don't know. One of Foodie Beauty's subscribers calls her out, saying, I'm disappointed and kind of shocked, Chantel. Do you really believe that nothing this Shani person has said was racist? I, I just saw the comments you left her. I'm starting to believe that neither of you even know what the definition of racist is. This is especially interesting because you are currently in a relationship with a black man. Even if you hate Charlie and Callie, you cannot deny that Shani is a stone cold racist. Unless, of course, you agree with the sentiments she expressed. And oh boy, oh boy, guys, we'll get there. And Chantal responds saying, I have not seen her say anything racist, but is it okay for them to do it? I don't condone it on either side. Which again is is the right thing to say here. We don't condone any racism whatsoever, and I'm exactly the same. I don't condone any racism either. But again, <laughs> Chantel proven that she didn't go bother to have a look. But she was quite happy for Shani to go defending her like a maniac. And then all of a sudden, Michael, the ground pounding bee petty, comes in and smashes the narrative. First off, Callie and Charlie have never called you a white bee. Second, this person was going off for hours yesterday screaming, mm -hmm, which I can also attest to, seriously. She, that woman drops the end bomb more than, than anybody else. <laughs> God damn. Talking about race wars and diminishing people of color's experiences. Third, if you want to go ahead and side with unhinged people, then go right ahead. I'm sure you will fit right in. Last, if you're so tired of people playing the race card, imagine how exhausting it must be to constantly. And Michael is completely correct here. Shani is, oh, she, 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 she's special. <laughs> she, she truly is something special. And uh, I will be addressing her when I get to the end of the timeline. But yeah, she has multiple videos where she's playing victim, you know, crying white people this white people are treated like that dropping the end bomb left right and chelsea and you know it's it's very odd that foodie beauty just didn't go and look at her content and you know didn't kind of address it almost immediately foodie beauty then changed her pinned comment on her halloween video she's actually now removed it but this is what she put before saying i apologize if my video was triggering for some i didn't mean to offend anyone with my video and from now on i will include a trigger warning for videos with potentially triggering content. Thanks guys, XO. 
And that's no longer there, actually. I went along to her video earlier and that pinned comment has been removed altogether. I don't know why, but in response to your reply, if that's true, then I think that you should watch some of Shani's content and see if your stance changes. I never said that it was okay for anyone to be racist. It is unacceptable regardless of you it's from or who it's from. Also, you and Shani are accusing Callie and Charlie of racism. Can you point me to two clear examples of them being racist against you or anyone else? With Chantel responding, I did watch a few of Shani's videos tonight and didn't hear her use any racism. Can you give me proof? Shani said they were calling her white trash bitch based on the screenshot above, which is nasty. I wouldn't doubt it. Foodie Beauty continues her rampage across various social media, having a go at Charlie Gold there. And then one final piece of shade saying, losing weight doesn't make you a better person. Well, it would certainly make you a healthier one. It would certainly make you a healthier one. And now we move on to Shani for Christ or Shani for Games and her fella who also runs a YouTube channel, which I believe is called something like Revelations or something like that. It's very Christian in nature. Not that I have a problem with that, of course. I don't take issue with being a religious person. That said, I take issue with Shani. Shani's behavior during this entire drama is what exacerbated the entire thing. Her flurry of video after video after video, clearly recorded on a mobile device and uploaded to YouTube, was something truly to behold. And there is a reason why I refer to this video as a kind of romance story, because I've shown you guys the interactions between Shani and Foodie Beauty. But Foodie Beauty has, of course, turned her back on Shani. And Shani didn't take this well. But before we get into that kind of little snippets of information, I just have to say, guys, I didn't really know how to deal with this part of the video. As you guys know, I'm a mental health advocate and I like talking about mental health and I tend to give people with mental health issues a lot of leeway. That said, Shani is somebody who has disclosed on her channel that she has borderline personality disorder. Now, as I previously stated, having borderline personality disorder does not make it okay for you to be a raging racist. It also doesn't make you a bad person to have it, and nor does it excuse any kind of scummy behavior. People with borderline personality disorder can get help. They can receive therapies. They can deal with and learn to cope with their problems to a point where they can have the best life possible. And Shani's behavior is something truly to behold. It's very unhinged and it's very shouty and in your face and not she has all the hallmarks of somebody who just is not stable at all so responding to her has been a difficult one to kind of figure out i didn't know whether i wanted to go through all of her arguments and statements and tear them apart or kind of go through and just explain that you know shani's a bit of a an odd one her channel's actually grown from this drama she's over a thousand subscribers now which was very surprising. I don't know whether that's just hate watchers subscribing so they can keep an eye on her and just dislike every video she puts out, but I don't know. I don't know. Shani is a what I believe to be an unwell lady. Also, just a quick disclaimer, I'm not a mental health, you know, therapist or doctor or anything like that. I can't diagnose her. I also can't say whether she doesn't have BPD. I personally think that she doesn't, but I can't say without without a shadow of a doubt that's the case. That said, despite all of that, it is still worth shining a light on her and her fella because there are lots of arguments and huge swaths of misinformation that both her and her husband or boyfriend spouts a great deal of. There's a great deal of victimization there as well. And I think it's worth pointing out but before I do that, guys, don't please don't go over to her channel. Don't go over to his channel. Don't go over there. Don't engage. Don't give any kind of hate or don't screech at them or anything like that. It only gives them more ammo to kind of self-victimize. I don't know whether Shani's badly mentally ill or whether she's just an example of what happens when parents don't beat their kids.
you know, Chantel Marie, I wouldn't worry about these moron trolls that are on your back at all. You know, I was dealing with them all day, and I realized how fucking stupid they are. They really, they're really, it's really sad to see a whole generation of Americas be so fucking dumbed down. I mean, my, I think our generation, Chantel, was the last generation of smart people. <clears throat> Hi. I'm Shani for Christ, and this is a shamble. What is a shamble, you say? Well, me, Shannon, and I ramble, and it's in shambles because I have borderline personality disorder, and I have no linear memory. So what are we talking about today? I have a confession, non-confession to make, because I'm not ashamed of this event at all. I have no shame in what I did or what I said at all. I think what I said was justified. I think if anyone was in the position I was, they'd say the same thing too. Because when I said it, it was a complete and utter act of emotion based on someone who was trying to steal my house, the stuff in my house, and he has stolen stuff in my house. He's stolen a lot of stuff in my house. He's, he's lied and taken money, lied about money and taken money over false means by me. He has done a lot of things to me. So no, I don't regret calling him that word because any man, I don't care what skin color you are, any person who tries to steal your house and your home is a fucking nigger. That's right. You earned that title. You earned that title. So sit in that title, and I'm just going to keep calling you that. I don't care how much you want my money. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get it. And that's what you are. You are that word. Because you try to take someone's money. You earned that title. I didn't give it to you willy-nilly. I certainly didn't give it because of who you are and what your skin color is. I called you that because you earned that title. Thank you, Amberlynn. I just found out you were sticking up for me, and I just want to thank you, Amberlynn. You are a sweetie pie. I've been watching you for a while, and I don't think you deserve any of the hate you deserve. Any of it. I may deserve the hate, you know? I bring it on just to piss people off and just to tick them off, you know what I mean? But you, you don't deserve it. You know, I... You don't at all. All you do is talk about your life and how you feel, and you have all these assholes constantly coming to you and talking shit about you, and I'm fucking tired of it. I'm fucking tired of it. It's okay. And, and here's the thing. It's okay for them to rip you up and say whatever the fuck they want. But when you turn around and do it to them, oh, they cry, they whine, they act like, big fucking baby, ba 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 ba. See, here's the thing. I never wanted this attention at all for any of this. I didn't ask for it. To Foodie Beauty, thank you for not supporting me for saying that word. It, I don't regret it, but at the same time, I'm never using the word again. So, there is that. Other than if it applied to a joke, which there's a lot of jokes that it can apply to. But a lot of people have this thing in their head now. If you say the word, it's automatically a racial thing. And it's... I don't get it. And I'm really fucking sick of the fucking subject, frankly. Because so many people have been coming after me because I said it. Yes, I did. I called a black man an N-word for stealing from me. Is it the worst thing in the world? And, and then threatening to steal from me again. Yes, I called him an N-word for that. I take responsibility 100% for it. At least I take responsibility for it and I'm not hiding 
the fact that I did. I take responsibility for it. If you hate me for saying it, go ahead. But you're hating me for a word. You're hating me for a word. I mean, your problem with that word is it's hatred, but while it's a word full of hatred, you're hating me. So are you showing me the hatred that word brings? Because what are you trying to prove by bringing me hatred for saying that word to someone who literally fucking threatened me and my family today? I'm just looking at my views and my sub clown, and I just have to ask you people, don't you guys have a fucking life than fucking worrying or fucking watching some fucking housewife with fibromyalgia and arthritis and I have borderline personality disorder. I'm not the fucking interest in. I'm a piece of shit. Just cancel me. I remember you talking about those people from Chicago moving and creating crime in specific areas. I know what you mean by that. I know you do. I know you do. Duluth, Minnesota did something really nice for um, women who or from black women who lived in Chicago who were being beaten up by their boyfriends. They decided to have women's shelters in, in, in Duluth to protect these women from being beat up by their boyfriends. Well, what happened, these women didn't stay away from their boyfriends. The boyfriends came to Duluth and they were not good people. These were straight up fucking gang members. And they came to Duluth. They destroyed fucking Duluth and violent came in and destroyed it. That's what happened. I'm looking at this. How is this not the beginning of systematic oppression? This is the beginning right before... This is this is shit that happens. We've given up our rights. We've 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 apologized how many times to the black man over shit that we haven't even done. We haven't even done and we would never do. I would be the first person on that underground railroad hiding people. I would be the first person to do it in an instant. <coughs> <coughs> but see this is what's happening in America nowadays, and no one's speaking about it because they're afraid of being coined racist. There is a systematic oppression going on over white people. Black people think they can do whatever they want to white people nowadays and get away with it. I don't know how many times I've had black people come into a store that I was working with and threaten to beat me up because someone in their parking lot had a Trump sticker. I was called a white devil, a white bitch, a white fucking slut, a white fucking whore, a honky by people who just came into my work because they saw someone with a trunk with a Trump sticker. They were threatening to fucking burn down the fucking grocery store. I told them if they don't leave, I will call the fucking cops on them. You will leave right now. And they left. I apologize for showing as much of Shani's content as I just did. I felt it's important to show the many different sides of her, and I feel like there's a lot more that I could have shown you guys, but I, if I had, a lot of it would have been out of context. And even then, some of the clips I showed there weren't really enough to kind of give you guys a full appreciation of who she is and what her content is about. As I said, Shani is an interesting individual and she certainly has a unique way of looking at certain things. There was a great deal of self-victimization there, a great deal of focusing on her personal issues that I, per that I think is the wrong kind of attitude to approach them. Believe it or not, ladies and gents, that all that six minutes worth of content I think I just showed you there, that wasn't the most aggressive that she's been that I've seen. I didn't show the worst of Shani because I just don't want people to look at her that kind of way. I believe Shani does have mental health problems and is a very immature individual and I believe a lot of her ideas and what she believes to be acceptable is reinforced by her fella. 
uh, revelation news. Shani doesn't really seem to understand what's appropriate and what's inappropriate given certain situations, whether though whether they are aggressive, high intensity situations, or even when you're just sat down in front of a camera, relaxed and talking about a certain situation. As I pointed out when showing those clips, I was in that live stream chat. You can go just over there yourself and see me asking her a couple different things. Shani is very, very ill-informed on many, many things. The story she was talking about there, I would certainly agree with her on the concept that all racism is unacceptable, no matter who it comes from and who it's aimed at. Shani may not realize what she was saying or doing throughout that live stream. She looks incredibly tired she perpetuates this victimhood mentality which is a it is a tactic used by both the left wing and the right wing and it's especially used by fringe groups to try to force their way into the conversation shani has a very apocalyptic it's all doom and gloom kind of attitude she seems very very black pilled when it comes to political and social discourse. And despite her experiences, Shani, if you are watching this, I imagine that you are, it's not that bad. The white race, I don't know why there's so much stock put into individual races when we're all, all a part of the same species, but that's just me being mixed race, I guess. <laughs> The white race is not about to be destroyed. Civilization as we know it isn't going to crumble around you. And as you can see, I'm trying to exercise a certain level of empathy here. See, once upon a time, I existed within the political genre as irate bear. And there were many ideas that I entertained and there were many situational problems that, were, that I perceived society was going to collapse and there were ideas that I again I entertained and realized now that actually it's not that bad I mean I used to get mad at pronouns and the odd the odd crazy feminist or that the UK was completely crumbling around me but actually it's just a pendulum swinging back and forth <laughs> and what many people especially alt writers perceived to be grand threats to their to their race is actually a grander threat to their culture oh but culture and race are intrinsically linked no they're not no they're not <laughs> this is always why i would take the stance of being a civic nationalist not because i'm mixed race and simply had to but because the idea that somebody could come from another country and come to live and work in my own country who comes from a very very different culture but could embrace British culture was the best move forward in my opinion now since abandoning irate bear in the political genre and just having fun here and actually doing the job that I do working with people who've actually seen some crap in their lives that that actually suffer from real social issues that's put some things into perspective for me. Shani appears to have fallen down the victimhood, everything's going to end trap, when actually it's not that bad. Yeah, we have politicians on Twitter saying stupid things. We have politicians in our governmental bodies, the buildings, the main buildings, the Senate in America, the House of Commons in the UK saying stupid things and advocating for stupid things. That's why free speech is so important, so you can shine a light on them. The sunlight being the best disinfectant. But the pendulum always swings back and forth. If you must get involved in the culture war, don't take it so seriously. And if you are a content creator, don't dive into it to the point that it starts affecting you where you can't sleep and you can't function as a normal human being, go outside and actually see what's going on out there. And if you see all these things that you've been complaining about in your YouTube videos, all right, fair enough. That's your area that you live in, but it's not the entire country. As Shani said, did say in that live stream that she thought America was going to crumble. 
and that is that America is not the greatest country in the world. America is the world's only superpower. America is the most powerful nation on earth. I think America will be fine. But I will say this in Shani's defense. I will say this in her defense. It is not enough to just sit there and shout racist at somebody. It's not enough. When you do that, you you give them ammo to further self-victimize themselves. Don't do it. By all means, point out what they're saying is hateful and racist and stuff like that. But you need to do more than just screech and shout at them. You need to actually debunk what it is they're saying. Oh, but Alex, you're not debunking anything, she says. Well... <laughs> If I did that, this video would be two hours long. And I also would have personally ignored Shani and not given her the time of day. I'm also not a political channel anymore. But if you do feel the need to have a crack at her, then I recommend you do more than just screech racist, because that's not enough. That's exactly the kind of thing that got Trump elected. And I know, like, I, he's not my president. Hashtag not my president. I mean, he's literally not my president. <laughs> I'm British. <laughs> but Trump was elected many factors came into into play with Trump not only was he an expert in controlling the media and the narrative but the fact that there were so many liberals and so many left-wing people just shouting racist 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 and then there were these awful events what Shani was talking about in her live stream happening people being attacked for wearing MAGA hats and things like that when you do that the other side can victimize themselves and make themselves out to be martyrs. That does not help the conversation. That only empowers them. If you want to rip somebody apart, the best way to do it is to put some limelight on it, put some sunlight on it, and debunk it in a mature manner. Whilst calling them out for self-victimizing and using dirty tactics in their argumentation. Now, I know many people, especially some of my new subscribers, will disagree with me on that one. It's up to you if you want to ignore people like this, but if you are going to get involved in the conversation, you need to realize that. I know that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow, and that's, that's not a left-wing, right-wing thing. Both sides, especially the fringes, do that, and they incorporate that kind of behavior. You need only look at rules for radicals. You know, that's the left wing thing. <laughs> and look at previous tactics carried out by the far right. Let's bring the conversation back to the middle where we can have a nice rational conversation. And speaking of such, I did reach out to Shani. I did reach out. You can go, you can go to that live stream and see I left a comment and had a little bit of a conversation with her. I tried to have discourse with her on that live stream in the chat. I was very polite. I didn't call her names. I asked her, you know, very simple questions. And I left a comment when she stopped streaming, asking her whether she'd like to live stream with me. However, when I left that comment, she started another live stream. And she was very tired and she was very upset and she was in a bad way emotionally. And I quickly realized that actually having a conversation with her right now wasn't the best move forward. I can't have a conversation with someone like that who is completely irrational and incapable of a decent rational conversation. But hey, you know, maybe in the future, when I feel that she's stabilized a bit, maybe we could have a live stream conversation. Maybe we could have a live stream conversation. I don't know. I don't know. But Shani, before I move on away from this conversation, I'd like to quickly tell you about a YouTuber by the name of Malfi Buddha. Malfi Buddha is probably one of the best editors I've ever seen on YouTube. Fantastic content creator, has been mainly focusing on the conspiracy theory side of things recently. But not that long ago, he decided that he wanted to go down the ideological rabbit hole that was the alt-right he decided that he would release a series of videos in which he would steal man arguments for both sides. 
Unfortunately, a lot of people reacted very, very badly to these videos, and Malfi Buddha himself found himself looking at people in the supermarket as not human beings, as not other people, but as statistics, as stats that he'd collected on things like race and IQ and the JQ and and so on and so forth. Luckily, he was able to bring himself back and get his head back into the normal world. If you continue down this path and you continue with the self-victimization, if you continue thinking, oh, white people have it this bad, white people have it that bad, what about black people, what about black people doing this? Try not to look at it like that. If you continue down that path, you're just going to end up being a really, really hateful, spiteful person. Try to look at them as not whites, not blacks. Try to look at them as Americans. Because that's what they are. Like me, for example. This skin may be brown, but I'm British, born and bred. Food for thought. Well, hello there! It would appear Alex has been having all the fun with Foodie Booty and that very obvious user of Wiz. It's a bit unfair that he gets to have all the fun, isn't it? Uh, but then again, I did have the entirety of the last video, didn't I? Well, that's fair enough. After all, it is called the Irate Alex channel, not the Lord Bear channel. There was a Lord Bear channel once? Yeah, we, we, we don't talk about that. But I digress. I digress. Weren't we supposed to start that new series today, Alex? Instead, you've lumped us with Chantel, who we dicked recently, and this new lol cow? Well, I'm disappointed, Alex. I was looking forward to it. I wanted to take a gargantuan dookie on my favorite mukbang mess, Nickacado Avocado. So, do you know what, Alex? No, I'm not doing it. No, no, Alex, I'm not going to grace your video with my presence. That said, I did finish the foodie booty dish track. Play that for the peasants instead. I'm going back into hibernation. Oh, oh, one quick one before I go. The dish track, ladies and gents. Um, I'm bloody English and can't do the hippity hoppity thing. Uh, so don't expect much from it. I'll be back next week when we take on that over emotional poor excuse of a human being. Nickacado. I shouldn't be allowed anywhere near a camera or other human beings, avocado. Enjoy the diss track. Also, buy my merch before the Ponce Stone gets here and I evolve into something else. Cheerio! Oh my god, it's a Lord Bear diss track, yes! I don't like you, foodie booty. That goes for you too, Shanny. Stop bloody eating! Stop eating lasagna and everything else That's not cramp or acid reflux It's a stroke you felt Queen of false flagging More like Queen Dick I don't really understand why BB puts up with your shit Chantel ate a family meal fit for 23 She ate the family too Three Muslims and a Jew Quite frankly as you're better I can't take this peasant shit Get the blunderbuss Mercedes Let's blast this bitch! Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a kick out, it was Alex's finger Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a white chocolate cake, it was someone's baby Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a kick out, it was Alex's finger Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a white chocolate cake, it was someone's baby I don't know why you'd wanna be a filthy peasant No, I don't know why you'd Wanna be a fat disgusting oaf What's it like being wrecked by a sexy English bear Fly hat, lit, monocle, shampoo and conditioned hair Mukbang show, what the fuck is that even supposed to mean? The form of speaking sounds like it comes from the stroke community One heart disease, one stroke for you, one diabetes can cause Stop eating so much sugar, let's throw this fucking party with some Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a kick out, it was Alex's finger Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating Stop eating, that wasn't a white chocolate cake, it was someone's baby! Bitch, stop eating, bitch, 
Stop eating, that wasn't a kick out, it was Alex's finger Bitch, stop eating, bitch, stop eating That wasn't a white chocolate cake, it was someone's baby Yeah, bitches, that's right Lord Bear, the Alpha and Omega Woo! I ruined PewDiePie's song, I can't rap for shit <laughs> Oh dear